Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, whatever time it is that you're joining me for this video. Thanks once again for clicking on the Penboy Boy Fountain Pen Review channel. The subject of today's video is the Edison Beaumont Unicorn Barf Fountain Pen. Before I get started, this week on the Pendertainment Podcast, episode 30, I have Brian Hulser of Estabrook on the show. We discuss the dangers of being a pen salesman, as well as the future of Estabrook and upcoming new pens. Be sure to check it out. Just be forewarned, it's not for children. You have been warned. This is the billionth review I've done on the Edison brand, so I'm going to skip the history lesson on Edison but you can always check out episode number 28 of the Pendertainment Podcast, where I have Brian Gray on as a special guest. And he talks about the brand history. But regarding our pen here today, we are given a very vintage-inspired pen with a very modern and vibrant touch of color. As of this year, Edison pens have taken the line that was rather conservative and vintage in color and replaced those old colors with new colors. They are Fireball. Amber Glass, and the star of today's show, Unicorn Barf. Now, despite the website, as well as retailer websites, listing the name of our pen here is simply Unicorn. As per Brian Gray himself, the real name of the pen is truly Unicorn Barf. This can be all verified on the podcast, guys. Another change to the line that is noticeable is in the unified barrel. With previous iterations, we have had a solid color blind cap. Whereas in this newer line, we see a barrel with uniform colors from top to bottom. A design choice made by Brian for the sake of aesthetic more so than function. The Beaumont series can be purchased with either steel nibs or, for additional money, an 18 karat gold nib. The pen I will be reviewing here today will feature an 18 karat gold nib. That's all I have for the background information. Moving on to the neutral zone. Those elements about the pen that are neither good or bad, or can be good or bad, depending on you. The nib is a number six size 18 karat gold Yovo nib branded with the Edison logo, which happens to be a nib shaped bulb to pay homage to the creation of the light bulb. I maintain that Edison pens should call the logo the Nulb. Underneath that is the gold content as well as an EF to indicate that this is an extra fine. The feed is a standard Yovo feed used in all Yovo nib units. The nib and feed are part of an unscrewable nib unit housing that screws into the concave shaped section. The section threads are unified with the section and screw into the inner threads of the barrel. The outer threads of the barrel are used in capping and are very fine and subtle. So in the event of contact while riding, there is no discomfort. The barrel has the brand name laser engraved in the center and tapers down to the flat end of the pen. And as I said earlier, does not have the pattern interrupted by a separate blind cap. The cap is more of the same acrylic with a flat finial. Notice that the finial is a separate piece of acrylic due to the clip assembly, but is the same acrylic as the rest of the pen. The clip is a tension fixed clip that has a moderate amount of tension. The clip tapers to a ball at the end of the clip to make it easier to clip into clothing. The center band is a simple, thin, flat center band with no brand markings. The pen was packaged in a white cardboard sleeve. Slide that off and you have a new, although not the newest, clamshell box. Open that up and you have your pen nested nicely in a soft bedding. Also included is a nice metal bookmark in the shape of the brand logo, the Nulb, that I almost always never seem to use. That's all I have for the neutral zone. Moving on to the good. Those elements about the pen that are good. It seems that nowadays every pen I review has a Yovo nib. In most cases, they are steel. And in most cases, they perform like savages. But after a while, things can get a bit samey. So it's really nice to try a Yovo number no. 6 18 karat gold nib because believe it or not, the writing experience is different enough to make things interesting. What doesn't change between the steel and the gold is the writing quality. They both write very well. Where the gold differs from the steel is in the increased bounce experienced when writing. With that increased bounce naturally comes an increased ability to achieve line variation. Now this nib is not specifically designed to be a flex nib, but can achieve a slight amount of line variation should you so choose. I just would recommend that you be careful and modest in terms of expectation, otherwise you could risk spraining the tines. Another noteworthy difference is in the wetness. I did notice that the gold nib writes slightly wetter than its steel counterpart. This is no doubt due to the increased ink flow resulting from that extra bounciness that I was yammering about. All this to say that the writing experience was fantastic. There were no issues whatsoever. 
When it comes to the balance of the pen, I would say that unless you have small hands, the best way to use this pen is posted. It just feels too short unposted and just perfect when it is posted. When it comes to the aesthetics of the pen, I really love the swirls and patterns. To be honest, pink and baby blue are not my typical colors, but there's something about the depth of the material and the interaction of the colors that I find interesting and eye-catching. There's almost a metallic sheen to the pen as it rotates and bounces light off the surface. I like it. I like it a lot. As a matter of fact, I find that out of all my Edison pens, this one is my favorite. Regarding the build quality, it is as one would expect an Edison pen to be. Built and finished to perfection, from the polish inside and out, down to the smoothness of the threads. It certainly is a pen on the lighter side, however, don't make the mistake of thinking that weight has anything to do with quality. You'd be very wrong, as everything about this pen is quality through and through. That's all I have for the good. Moving on to the bad. Let's talk coin. Now, as I said earlier in the opening while I was shamelessly plugging my own podcast, this pen can come with either a steel nib or as seen here with an 18 karat gold nib. So the price of the pen shown here with retailers online will run you $299, with the steel nib version costing much less at $169. Now, being that in either case you're getting an American-made high-quality fountain pen that performs, I would say that either option is not unfair or asking too much. The question you need to ask yourself is, which do you need to have, gold or steel? That's all I have for the bad. Moving on to the ugly. Those elements about the pen that should not be, but are. There is very little in the way of anything I can say is ugly with this pen. Brian Gray, as I have recently learned, is one of the most detailed and anally retentive people I think I've ever interacted with. He literally double checks things, triple checks things, checks him again, then has other people check him for him again. So regarding the ugly, I have nothing to report. So that's all I have for the ugly. It's high noon, decision-making time. Should you or should you not pull the trigger on the Edison Beaumont Unicorn Barf Fountain Pen? This one is an easy one to answer. If we're talking about the steel nib version at $169, then for sure, pull the trigger on this pen. However, in the case of the gold nib version, I would say that unless you're bored with the Yovo steel nib, and if like in my case here, need a change of pace, the gold nib version wouldn't be at the top of my list of must buys. I think that the steel nib version is more than enough to satisfy your fountain pen thirst. Yes, the gold nib is wonderful and in my opinion, a wonderful writing experience. However, I just don't think that the additional cost would be entirely worth it or necessary for everyone. That being said, if you do opt for the gold nib, you will be a very happy camper. That was my review of the Edison Beaumont Unicorn Barf Fountain Pen. I hope you found it helpful. Thanks again for watching. Love you guys. Be well, be safe.